letting her warm up. 1972 Pontiac Le Mans. Yes, I said Pontiac Le Mans. Does have the 400 under the hood. He's running good. Power steers, power brakes. Car feels hot. There's detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. There's financing and shipping on all of our cars. If you haven't already, hit subscribe and share this video. That helps me out quite a bit. Dual exhaust. Sounds mean. I guess we'll have to drop the top. Because it feels too good outside. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. All right, we're about to roll out here. First things first, I tried to roll down the window. The only window that actually works in this whole car is that one. So I'm not gonna drop the top because it'll look ridiculous. Let's start up good. We'll try them again. Just for giggles, but you see nothing, nothing. And then this one, there's something. And then the last one. Oh, look, it did roll down. All right, with that being said, let's see if the back ones work. Nope, not doing anything. It's stuck up. Why you gotta be so stuck up, man? Yeah, the back two are not gonna go down, but our passenger will and the driver will. Oh no, is it gonna come back up? That's an important thing. Oh no, well, I have to figure it out. Switches are messing up. Place your bets, do you think the horn works? Engine temperature's coming up and the oil pressure's working. Blower motor. Not a thing. Blower motor needs service. Tack. Working. Gas gauge. Woo, we're on E. I don't know what's going on with it. We'll have to check it out. Show you the mileage. 78,288. Nope. Wipers. Yep. Um, we'll look around on the inside. We've got some mats back here. I don't know why cleanup bay started leaving the mats in the back. They've done that on a couple cars now. And then, just to see, that top motor is working. Horn, did you place your bets? Well, if you said it worked, you was right. We're going to hit the road. We're going to see what else we can find. Well, I did get the window working, so that's good. And it's going up and down like it's supposed to. Back to your windows or not. Let's roll out of here. Got my bag in the back. We're going to the gas station now. And of course, I haven't drove this yet. This is my first experience in the driver's seat on this car. I'm sure I'll figure it out. But with that being said, I'm gonna figure it out with you. I'm gonna show you any kind of issues that I see as if I was looking at the car, buying it for myself. Here we go. As I pull out here, it looks like our Speedo, a little bit slow. Not used to saying it's slow, but it is. It's on the slow side. I locked the hood down there and one side came up on me, so I want to make sure that doesn't happen. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. It's got these locks and you want to be careful. I was watching it, but I've already checked it before I left. Was all right, I got it all locked up now and it looks like you just do like a half a turn. That's all you have to do and it actually snugs up in there tight. But it took me a second to get that to actually work. All right, now let's get out of here. Put y'all back on the window. I think it's this one. There's a few square keys on here and I know one of them's the ignition, which is this one. back on the window I do appreciate your patience here like I said seeing that hood pop up don't want any disasters so 
with the premium fuel in this one. It's right here behind the tag too. Looks like a new cap. Yep. Start it up. We was about to run out of gas. I bet it runs better now. We got a quarter tank.
stick y'all up on the window somewhere so I could see you the whole test drive. But mainly so I know that y'all are getting a good view here. And I haven't tried reverse yet. There it is. These mirrors are a little bit loose too. Need to be tightened up. Literally have, this one needs to be tightened up as well. All three of them. That one's facing off to the sky, I guess. Well, when I put her to the floor there, it started spinning getting a little sideways and then it acted like it loaded up a little bit and it started to cut out. So I let out on the throttle and then got back in it and it started running good again. I think there's some ethanol built up in that carburetor. That or it needs to be tuned where it's not flooding itself out. So, but there is a uh, known issue there now. And that's not normal driving. I mean, that was me matting her to the floor. But every so often throughout the videos, at least once in the, each and every video, I'll put her to the floor. That way you get a good example of what you're getting. Park over there, all the trees are destroyed. I just right, really realized it actually knocked down a lot of trees in that park that's the first time that i got a good view it's pretty scary <laughs> nice little bump in the road here pretty smooth oh love that smell Little tire smoke. It didn't flood out or act up at all when I first when I just did that when we stopped right after that turn. I got into it and I was letting in and out of the throttle. It's doing just fine. We are missing our visors here in the front on both sides. Runs great. Getting in the brakes now. I noticed a little vacuum's gone away, probably where I got in the throttle and then right back on the brakes. I think if I went to two foot it and brought the vacuum back up, it'd be fine. But I noticed that just then, it's the first time that I actually had a little bit of an issue stopping. But that was from the vacuum there where I got on the car. All right. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and get her in the spot over here next to the other Le Mans. I do know this one has Judge stickers on it. It's just stickers. This needs to be tightened. It's a flathead. Most everything on these cars that we get in is pretty easy. And the best thing is you know what you're getting before you get here. So be sure to hit subscribe, share this video, and stick around because picking out the flaws is coming up next. Out the flaws. Time to walk around this ride. Up here in the front, we got a bunch of cracks. Look at all these little cracks in the paint. All the way across the top of the nose, touch up marks. Need some 
paint on them bumpers. That or get a chrome bumper. See the cracks. It's all cracked up. Marks here and here. Touch up marks in there. Right here. A crack there. Up top. Cracks in the corner there. Cracks there. Back bumper's got nice chrome. That front bumper, that's what it needs to be. Chip. Little marks here and there. Cracking the paint. Little spot here. Front windshield, pretty clean. Door handle looks good. Ding right there on the chrome. Sit there. Tear in the top. Now the top does go up and down. Uh, the only reason I didn't take it down is because the back two windows, I couldn't get down. Actually, I actually haven't tried this one, but that one over there for sure, um, front and back switch, I couldn't get it to work. Hitting here. I haven't asked anybody at the lot if there was a trick or anything like that either. So if they got it down for the detailed pictures, then they work somehow or another. But I haven't looked at those yet because I just haven't. I usually just jump on these cars and see some spots there and look at it myself for y'all. But those detail pictures do add a second person because Jeff's the one that's doing those pictures. He's been doing those pictures for 20 something years. I've only been doing these videos for like seven or eight years. Which consistently every week, seven and eight years, I haven't really missed a week, I don't think. Pretty much dedicated to these videos, guys. <laughs> well, that and the whole family relies on me. Y'all rely on me to get these out for you so that you can see any kind of flaws. And guys, if you don't mind, I realized, uh, what's it called, Yelp? Oh, there's some glue that's on there. It's peeling up. Some here too. Spot in the corner. Yeah, if y'all can give me a Yelp review, that would be awesome spot there uh, I realized that I've been neglecting Yelp altogether I haven't haven't even checked it out until yesterday and was like wait a second I need to be telling people about this <laughs> yeah there was only like 12 or 13 reviews for years on there so guys if y'all bought a car I know there's thousands of you that have Run over there to Yelp and leave me some reviews. I do need some help on there. Then it seems like the only people that have left reviews haven't been to the lot. All right. Coming down the side. Let's look. Tires are in good shape. Up and over in the fender. Going down. chips in this corner right up here on top spot there also there's a little chip here <laughs> oh for real uh give me a call if there's some kind of question you have over one of these videos we'll be happy to talk you through it looks like the light is hanging down here so it's not going to work it may have burned out there yeah we'll walk out to the car go over whatever issue you have send you pictures chip there 
going over whatever you may find or have questions about. Dirt there, that's what that was. I just made it worse. Ding on this side too. I'm running out of light. Chip. Chips there. This right here, I could if I could keep this same exact lighting all day long, I could show y'all every little ding perfectly this is perfect lighting all right let's go ahead and check out that interior now we know the switches half of them are messed up half of them work it's kind of hanging out there kickers in the door repaired I mean, just look at the lighting right now. I'm so impressed with it. <laughs> and chips. Yet on the way back to the lot, I'll have to use my light that I usually like to enter carriages up with. Right there in the back. Y'all want to link to that? I think I have it below. I mean, honestly, I bought it. It's a hyper tough. I bought it at Walmart. It's just a rechargeable light. I could charge it once a week, do all my test drives throughout the week. And then when it comes Friday, I plug her back up for the weekend, let it charge. I tell you what, since I told you I would, See if it'll start. Oh, 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 yeah. Let's try this. Nope. This back window is stuck up at the moment as well. Lights bright. Squeak to the belt. Got a gear drive in this one. Aluminum radiator. Upgraded oh, Corey. Spend a little bit of money on this motor. A lot of y'all are going to ask, what's that noise? Again, it's a gear drive. It's something they added to the car. Some people like it, some people don't. Now, I do have to lock this hood. It's got some imperfections around the edges. So you got to pin it down, which I will. You want to see the outline of the old louvers. Huh. Detail pictures, financing and shipping, go to maplemotors.com, check it out. Also help me out with that uh, Yelp review. Again, a lot of y'all probably don't even have Yelp. I know I don't. I probably need to download it, but I went and looked. We just hardly didn't have anybody talking about us on there. So, I mean, try to get it up 20, 30 comments maybe, but I do appreciate it. Check it out. Check out maplemotors.com for financing, detailed pictures, and of course, t-shirts. Pick up some Maple Motors gear. It's a great Christmas gift. 
Thanks, guys.